Doug Apps. I'm the director here at Calvert Marie Museum. Can we? How's the sound on this thing? Is that better? Okay. I'd like to welcome you to uh, one of our sporadic series of, of lectures of topics of note to Southern Maryland whenever we can get them. Um, I'm sure many of you are here because you've read about the articles in the local papers about our, our Russian visitors. Um, they've taken it upon themselves to, to do the ultimate journey, the big, the big voyage, the big dream that many of us have gone, let's go around the world. I think a lot more the daring than I think I'd ever ever want to. Um, we're fortunate to have, have them with us today to share their, their voyage, their trip. Uh, they've got things to look at afterwards. The, we just found out the cat has a passport. And we, get, we get to see the cat's passport. Um, and slides are their voyage. I am not going to try to pronounce their names and, and, butcher, and butcher that. So I will just introduce our good Russian friends and colleagues. Good day, uh, dear ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we appreciate uh, our director of the museum who invited us here for this lecture. And uh, he told uh, me before, when we will be ready to go, I, I uh, told him, if my agent will start, we will be ready to go. If not, we will be here forever. He likes this one. <laughs> uh, but when agent will start uh, Bon Voyage ceremony, ready to organize here on this pier, and last day we leave uh, from maybe from Maritime Museum. Does mean our relations with Maritime Museum, uh, good relations will continue. And we appreciate for Maritime Museum for this uh, uh, evening. Thank you. And uh, now uh, let's I uh, introduce you uh, all uh, crew members. Uh, it is my wife Irene. Uh, she have around uh, seven different positions on board, but first of all, he, she is a first mate, a cook, and mom of our cat, and uh, she doing well. But uh, you see what's happened. When I built my boat and I brought it to the Vladivostok uh, by train, and uh, railroad told me you cannot make it bigger than 12 feet. I made it just 12 feet, and when I go inside my boat, I see, oh my God, so small boat. I like tall girls, but when I imagine it bad, what I prepared for cook, it's only five feet. And I took a she only five feet long. <laughs> but it's a joke, she is very nice. Thank you. Now, I will introduce you another member of our crew. He came to us in Seattle. I will show you uh, his picture. We, cat wonder we have a wonderful cat, uh, Kuzia. And just a few days ago, we celebrate his fifth birthday. He came to us at the night, but uh, we don't know at what uh, day he was born. And one uh, gentleman, King of Republic Court on Florida Keys, Mel Fish, a very famous man, uh, I told him, when he gave passport for myself and Irene. Why you don't want to give my intelligence cat? And they so easy uh, people, they give a real human passport for my cat. It is first cat around the world with human passport. And I don't know if you will see well, but when they ask me what his birthday, I said, I don't know. And I put 30th February. And we just celebrate. And here it is his Build, uh, his own signature. We will put on table when you will leave, you, you'll be uh, your season. And also we have uh, keys to the many towns. We visited uh, many mayors. We've been welcome. We are not a citizen of many towns. But this one is also very special. It's Titusville, where we are uh, launching the uh, uh, shuttles to the uh, space. And this is key to the Titusville, Cape Canaveral. And this key for Michael, Irene, and Kuja for Orange It's very, very famous cat. And this winter, I almost finished a book about my cat, three on board, including cat, and you will be, I hope, uh, some story uh, about him also in that book. And now, uh, let's go to the our slide uh, show. First of all, I want uh, uh, to tell you a few words. You know about history. You know that Columbus discovered this coast in 1492. It was not uh, so hard compared to the white bearing for them, because they built boats 
in Spain uh, near the beach, cross ocean and return back. When we discover, many people walk and discover all Pacific coast of Russia, it's 4,000 miles, very cold place, and it was uninhabited place, and we know that it is not America. Does mean more, uh, maybe islands, more ocean seas, and after you be some place west coast of America. And Peter Great did give order for White to Spain discover another side of America. And it took three years for Russians because from St. Petersburg and uh, Moscow, it's 10,000 miles and no roads, huge forest, mountains, rivers, very cold, lots of the dangerous animals, bears, and uh, etc. And they brought on an inhibited beach on Pacific Ocean all stuff, including nails, hammers, sword, and another, and another, and another. And three years it took to go uh, through the old Siberia. And they built boats in 1740, it was two boats, St. Peter and St. Paul. They crossed Okhotsk Sea and after go to the Kamchatka. And on Kamchatka they left Russia up to the unknown sea. And they discovered Alaska, discovered west coast of USA. And one boat, St. Paul, returned uh, to the uh, Kamchatka. But another, with Commodore White was then being crashed near the small island. And 31 people, including White House Bay, uh, died. And I've been on that small island. And I was amazed. Uh, uh, so much that people uh, made for discovery of another continent, and nobody repeat the way. And uh, I worked for the biggest newspaper around the world, 22 million circulation daily in Moscow. And I quit with my job. I built my boat. And uh, we first expedition who repeat that dangerous way. For example, uh, Cape Horn, uh, South uh, America, 55 degrees latitude from equator. Where we've been on our boat, it's 60 degrees latitude. It's much more farther than uh, uh, Cape Horn to the uh, to the north. And on our boat, we see uh, pieces of ice much bigger than our boat. Does mean it's very cold, very dangerous, but we already made uh, almost 20,000 miles. We visited 12 countries and uh, uh, almost six years on the water. And it's just a small uh, firewood. And uh, let's go to the other slideshow. And if you will have uh, any kind of question when I will finish, you are welcome. I will be glad uh, to answer on all your questions. Okay, you uh, two more flights. Conversation between myself and Ken in my book. 
For example, once I am trying to catch for him fish, because when he came to me, he told me, I am not meat cat, I am fish cat. And he asked me, uh, can you catch fish? I said, okay, what do you want? Shark, Dorado, Bonito, catfish, uh, tuna, what do you prefer? And he answered, it doesn't matter. All fish around the world, it is catfish. It's a very smart, very intelligent cat because you see he has Russian education. Two parents, two parents have high uh, pedagogical uh, education. I finished pedagogical institute and I read also and we've been as a teacher in a, a school. And uh, uh, I uh, fixed on neck of my cat special resistance because you see why animals uh, cannot speak. They have no that special uh, stuff inside the throat what we break and uh, uh, they can speak. I fixed something and my cat now can speak as a human. If uh, somebody don't uh, believe that, uh, trust me, that much more difficult was for me to teach my cat use instead the tongue toilet paper. <laughs> Okay, uh, everything probably fine. And this is the uh, first other picture. Uh, we uh, will start our slideshow from Moscow, uh, from our capital. It's the biggest town in Russia, around 10 million people. And this is the biggest, the most nice church in Russia, Cathedral St. Basil. Been built in 16th, in 16th century by Russian Tsar Ivan Strong. And he was so amazed, so impressed with this church, uh, they done it in 30 years, that he, blind masters, he did not want them to uh, build the same nice church in another town or another uh, country. But it just legend, we don't know for sure. I'm trying, I'm trying, it doesn't go. I'm sorry, it's not Russian stuff, it's everything. <laughs> okay. Now, now it is uh, our uh, where is sitting our government, uh, Kremlin. It is one of the uh, biggest, uh, maybe after the Chinese uh, wall. It's the biggest construction uh, from uh, bricks. It doesn't do right, I'm sorry. Let's uh, do maybe manually. Uh. It's, it doesn't do. Inside the Moscow, it is a very nice uh, 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 church. But let's turn to another picture. Much better. I prefer to show just for the picture. It's never real. <laughs> You see 
the biggest uh, cannon around the world. Up to the Second World War, uh, it was the biggest cannon around the world. Just see how big bulls, uh, bulls, uh, uh, and it's uh, almost as, as high as a man. Uh, it is still this time been built in 17th century by Russian master, masters from copper, and still this time it is the biggest uh, uh, bell around the world, 25 tons uh, uh, copper. Uh, uh, it is a piece of the same area. Soon will be much more warm than now, and if you want to refresh yourself, you will go to the um, uh, any ice cream store and you buy ice cream, but it's too expensive. Two, three, four dollars one small cup. If you will fly to Siberia anytime, you will have ice cream, as you see, free. You just go, pick up snow, put sugar and enjoy. Now we are in our home port Vladivostok. You see this big uh, letters, uh, uh, six feet tall from copper, it's name of my home port Vladivostok. And it is symbol of my town. It is big tower and a sailboat on top because it is uh, the biggest uh, seaport on Pacific side of Russia. Around one million people living in Vladivostok. Uh, and many people told me that Vladivostok always called it Siberia. No, it's very far from truth because Vladivostok is reserved for the Siberia. It's very uh, uh, far to the south, close to the um, uh, Korea, China, China. I see from my window in Vladivostok, China. Very clean water, excellent fishing, diving. And uh, yeah, as you see, it is very colorful, uh, colorful beach. And now a story about my expedition. Uh, when I uh, go to the libraries and archives, I found how it looks like boat of the Whitest Berry. It was double mast, uh, double and 100% uh, uh, white pine. And as you see, boat have no sailboat keel. Each sailboat have long and very heavy keel here. It's keep on course. It's keep uh, from cup size and uh, it's much more maneuverable both. But before, people did know nothing about keel. And it's very dangerous. If near the beach, you cannot escape by sails from a hurricane, for example, from a big storm. Because uh, on, uh, with keel, you can go 30 degrees to the wind. With my boat, 60, 70, and it's anyway will move you on, uh, on beach. For example, in uh, geography discovery era, 75% sailors died during that expedition because no sailboat killed. Uh, now it is Bon Voyage ceremony in Vladivostok. When we left Vladivostok, our home port six years ago, it was huge Bon Voyage ceremony. Thousands and thousands of people came to say the last words to us. And you see at the center, it's very famous in Russia, Archbishop George, who came uh, to bless us and our expedition. It's, uh, uh, okay. Now, you, uh, I took this picture on uh, Kamchatka. It's one piece of what you name Siberia. It's a huge country. 80% of lumber and uh, uh, natural gas, propane, and uh, coal, everything inside the Siberia. And you see how is colorful, how is nice this uh, country. But only two months summer. At, uh, at the summer, the same hot uh, as here at the summer. But at the winter, by Celsius, it is 40, uh, 50, and once I born, I've been in 58 degrees by Celsius in uh, cold. Uh, many colorful falls, uh, many nice uh, places in Siberia and everywhere, almost everywhere, where there is no big towns, you can go to the any river, to the any creek, and you can drink uh, water. It's so uh, tasty and so good. It is very unusual bird. We have thousands of them on north, and they, by this big node, 
they make holes inside uh, the rocks and they uh, have uh, a nest inside uh, that, uh, uh, that place. On Kamchatka, where we left uh, Russia, uh, it, every uh, autumn come in billions pieces of salmon. And if you go to the Greek, as I uh, done before my expedition, I cut just by hands so big salmon, few of them, because if you step inside the Greek, no place to put your leg, everywhere fish, no water. And they just go uh, uh, up to the way. And I took this picture uh, on uh, Kamchatka. Uh, the most exotic, the most colorful place around the Russia, because I've been in Russia everywhere. As a journalist, I travel, I've been in each point. Uh, before this expedition, for example, I organized an expedition to the North Pole. And, uh, but the most exotic place is, of course, Peninsula Kamchatka. Uh, very colorful uh, beaches, uh, bays, and uh, lots of the forest, salmon. And we have also around 400 volcanoes, and 27 of them uh, are active. And I took this picture, I asked pilot of plane what I fly around, I asked him, I want to make picture of greater. He said, Mike, you are really crazy, because only crazy men can go to around the world. You are really crazy, because uh, that engine, if would stop at that time, you see, around snow, very, very, uh, very, very, too fast. <laughs> but you remember that. Okay, this explosion of that, uh, as I said me later, uh, what I uh, saw that uh, crater, and its explosion when we left Kamchatka in a few years. But if it's happened, when was my plane on top? No slideshow today. <laughs> And it's now how it looks like my boat under the large square sail. It's very good, very powerful sail, but why not so many people use it now? Because uh, it's held on top here. It's very uh, uh, hard and very uh, heavy uh, boom. If you lift it on top, necessarily few guys, but I do it just now by myself, and it's difficult. But, and another point, uh, you can use only with tailwind. And if you will fall asleep uh, on your boat, and the wind will be from side, it's very easy to capsize your boat. Very, uh, at the same time, very powerful, very good sail, but at the same time, it's dangerous. Uh, and I use also the staysails. I have these staysails, as you see, it is uh, uh, triangle sails, and you can go more close to the wind with these sails around 60 degrees. And it's also giving me uh, sometimes uh, four knots. Uh, we've been in uh, um, uh, offices of many mayors, and they came to the other board. And this, you see, Mayor of Anchorage. We've been welcomed by him. And this is my friend, Greg. We go with Greg uh, to the uh, mayor, uh, mayor's office. And I was first time in the USA, and I asked, what portrait on the wall who is that? It is criminal. Big picture of somebody. And he said, no. Uh, it's, uh, I said, it's a criminal. He said, no, it's political. But in USA, he told me it's the same. I, I, told, I don't know about USA, but in Russia, 100% included my president, what they doing now with my people. Uh, it is a very memorial place for us. It is on uh, Alaska, and this is uh, here is fisherman village Yakutat, and you see, uh, 250 years ago, White Bering and first Russians, first Europeans came here on this beach. They discovered Alaska here on this place, and you see, 250 years later, so colorful, so wild beach uh, uh, still this time. Now it is Juno, capital of the Alaska, huge, huge glacier, and its uh, icy uh, river slowly, slowly moving, melting, and uh, it disappeared. Uh, 
Uh, when we've been in Canada on west coast of uh, British Columbia, we stay in some uh, small bay near the Prince Rupert and came to us this small animal, sable. Very nice, very friendly guy. And he's so amazed because first time in his life he's, he saw this kind of bow. And he brought his girlfriend, we fit them well, and uh, they wanted to go with us. You see, he jumped on my bow, and he wanted to go with us, but I said, I don't know about immigration because it's kind of a, about immigration in USA, and he left. Let's go to the next. Uh, you see, I have no so much experience uh, with uh, American women, but Russian women talk too much. <laughs> and so small bow, six years with the same woman. Can you imagine how, how strong I am? Uh, but when I especially write in my book, everything around must die. But I even talk to lot, and I just have one day when I fix her lips. But it's not uh, so good. And now I invent it. Looks like it's this remote control. <laughs> and when you're on your boat, you just press button, and lips of your wife will close electronically. <laughs> many, many husbands already order that. <laughs> uh, it is in uh, Seattle, uh, we, uh, taking picture of something unusual. This is big, big, uh, this, it is. A troll living under the bridge, Scandinavian believe that some spirit living under the each bridge. And I put, you, you can imagine how big that it is by five feet. Uh, now I would like to introduce you to the third member of our crew, my cat Kuzia. Kuzia uh, it means a lovely Russian name. And as you see, he has no tail. He came to us. Uh, very wet, skinny, hungry at the night, and uh, he asked a food and political asylum on Russian territory. <laughs> and we did kill him, and uh, he was around uh, maybe half a pound before. Now he is 15, and uh, he eat well. I always catch for him uh, fresh fish, and before he had huge tail, uh, around uh, 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 foot uh, long, but. It's Siberian tradition. When cat go inside your house with long tail uh, during the winter, it takes too long time. And uh, he, he bring in too much cold air inside. We cut tail and he go inside faster and we stay warmer. And we've been four years in tropics. It works opposite in tropics. It keep cool your bow. Very useful. Uh, now you see my cat on top of bow. He helped to drive in Siren City on this big tiller. We drive this bow by huge, long, heavy tiller. It's twice longer than my uh, wife. It's very difficult, but we have system of ropes, as you see, globes, ropes, and it's make easier if you work through the uh, ropes and it's uh, uh, go go well. Uh, it is another picture. Uh, our cat is a spirit. We always with skin, we so like him. And this is another uh, point of our, uh, on our boat. It is a fire bird, bird of luck. Mm. My cat speaks three languages fluently, of course, Russian, its native language for him. Uh, he knows, of course, uh, English and a little bit Spanish. But uh, he now take him care very well about his health, uh, he wondering about uh, high level of the cholesterol, and as you see, he now accept only low fat meat. <laughs> very clever cat. Uh, he like all days, but he hates Sundays, because Sunday is his best day. We laundry him each Sunday. But uh, he always uh, telling us, uh, no, no daddy, I don't like it. And you see his crazy eyes. He always trying to jump, but I just keep uh, him by I, my arms, and uh, because we just want him to take off from fleas, ticks, and he's a very clean, very good cat. But we have no on board 110 volts. We have no generator. We have no laundry machine or uh, either dryer. And when you uh, uh, laundry your cat, you need to dry him. What to do? And I fixed Irene uh, on this 
the sun and cat, you see, it's almost uh, three, uh, four feet long, tall, so big my cat. <laughs> and we sleep with him, we eat with him, we play with him, and he uh, speak uh, English, uh, as I told, and he now pouring, singing for Irene, uh, that lovely song, Good Night, Irene, Good Night. <laughs> Uh, many animals like our expedition, this goose came to us in uh, Seattle and he asked also, as you see, for food uh, donation. He wanted also to ask for political asylum, but Ken said no. <laughs> uh, uh, we've been on, uh, on South and came to us, you see, this manatee. She came to us and was hungry and I feed her with this leaves of cabbage near the my bowl. And, but they don't like salt water to drink. And you see this hose, and this manatee, and she asked for, uh, for water. And it's myself, and I did give for her hose, and she drink around half an hour, so much water uh, uh, she liked. Many, many uh, sea waters, the sea lions, and different animals on our uh, way every day. Uh, they come into us and they're uh, speaking with uh, uh, Kruzia conversation, they understand. And I have underwater camera, I took these dolphins, every day dolphins come, uh, come to us. Uh, it is mountain <coughs> near around 15,000 feet, but not so many people know that it's almost uh, a cemetery. Around uh, uh, 400 people already died and I decide to be on top anyway and once I uh, made it. And you see also summer around, but on top, lots of the uh, snow. We met pirates twice. R once on the west side of USA, but just uh, they just been dressed as the pirates. But once in Salvador, it was real. They jumped on boats, they asked for money, for everything. I cannot uh, buy uh, in any country uh, where one, but I had it's legally a uh, flare gun. And I had two flare guns, and I just uh, showed them and said, guys, go away. And, and they go, and I've been lucky, because many people in Salvador have been killed, and uh, they sunk their boats. Uh, Indians many times invite us for their celebration. Uh, they make uh, dancing for us, and I did show it for them <coughs> also. And we met many extraordinary people. This guy in red t-shirts, he's famous uh, arm wrestling and karate fighter. Once in Mexico, it is not fish story, I read article about that in newspaper, he'd been attacked by big, huge bull, and he had no any weapons, but he very powerful, and he, just by one arm, break ribs of that uh, bull, break his uh, body, and took off He's a live heart. He killed bull just by one arm. Uh, and you see, it is the biggest tree around the world, uh, 1,500 years, how, how it's big, and uh, this tree, and the smallest, uh, one of the smallest sailor around the world. It is uh, myself inside the red, uh, redwood uh, forest. Uh, you see, so big. Uh, it's another uh, uh, tree on our way in, in tropics. You see how colorful, how is nice uh, uh, that tree. Uh, Fort Ross, it is Russian village near the, uh, San Francisco in 17th century, in, in 18th century Russian uh, traders uh, organized that Russian village. And still this time, there's that Russian village, Fort Ross, near the San Francisco. And you see a piece of that uh, uh, Fort Ross still this time. Now, now this is a, a national park. Uh, I like your celebration Halloween, but you Americans don't know how lucky you are. You have Halloween just once a year, one day. Russian Halloween start together with the Russian Revolution in 1917. And still this time, almost 80 years, we have every day Halloween. We're so tired from Russian Halloween. 
It is a piece of the Berlin Wall being donated for Mr. Ronald Reagan uh, for his library. And we've been invited to meet him and Nancy Reagan. And you see, this is Miss uh, Nancy Reagan. Uh, he did give a signature, we spoke with her, with Mr. Reagan. And I did give for them my t-shirts. I have t-shirts from Russia with love. I did give for them. And uh, uh, after I did give the same for Bill Clinton. He just been elected, he been in Santa Barbara. And he wore my t-shirts and spent full day in Russian t-shirt. And uh, many friends joking. Russian, uh, American president looks like as a Russian spy from Russia with love. <laughs> and after the same uh, 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 t-shirts, uh, I will give for many uh, presidents, for Boris Yeltsin and not. Many people now asking from where I know English a uh, uh, little bit better than uh, nothing. I am catching new words now from TV. Uh, for example, from last uh, TV news from White House, I cut two new words. I don't know what they mean. I don't know still this time, but I decided to test. And I did go inside my boat and I said, Irene, I am ready with you for sexual harassment. <laughs> she said, fine, do what you would like, but can you explain first what that means? I said, I'm not sure, but if American president like it, it's something with great pleasure. <laughs> And we've been in Las Vegas with Irene, we've been invited as a, uh, witnesses on marriage of our friends by car, we did go from LA. And I play with the one armed band leaders. I made $10 my donations for your Cosa Nostra. <laughs> and when Irene did go to sleep, I saw much more. <laughs> we, we've been in the uh, 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 castle of Mr. Hearst in uh, California. This pool, 500 feet long on, on top of the mountain. He bought for $3 million this uh, girls from Greece, but as you see, no more money for clothes. We've been in uh, ocean, and to be in ocean, it's always very dangerous, very tough. And this Canadian yacht just been 100 feet away uh, from my boat and suddenly so big, so gusty wind break uh, uh, sails of that yacht and I help that people, I tow this boat inside the bay. It's always dangerous to be in ocean. And from that Canadian yacht, they took picture of my boat. And you see, many times my boat, because I have deck only two feet from water, have, uh, looks like as a submarine, only mess from water. Waves pass us free. Uh, this is our uh, girlfriend uh, for our cat from San Francisco. Uh, you see, uh, I, it is my food here. Uh, I took this picture in Hollywood. My first name, last name, I, I, I told you, uh, very difficult, uh, because after three years I cannot repeat my uh, last name. But my first name is the same as a Gorbachev, Mikhail. Or here, I am the same as a Michael Jackson. <laughs> oh, but he is much more white than I am. It is Hugh Bremer, it's in Wax Museum, uh, his uh, Wax uh, uh, sculpture. But not so many people know that this famous actor, movie star, been born in Russia, in my home port. When they've been just four years old, they left to Russia. Once came a former president of the USSR, Mr. Gorbachev, to us. And I started to speak with him by Russian. Привет, Mikhail Sergeyevich, как ты здесь поживаешь? But he could not understand. This is the winner of twin competition. He, 95% looks like as a Gorbachev. He had even this devil spot, burst mark on, on his head, as you see. And once he been introduced to Gorby, and Gorby said, no, you don't look like a Zion. Gorby show on left arm another spot, the same as here on head. This guy was amazing. He opened his jacket, and he has the same spot as Gorby on the same arm. And Raisa, wife of Gorby, told Michael, be careful. This guy, 10 years younger, I will trade you. <laughs> But it's very clever Indian, uh, you see, uh, 
Uh, he making t-shirts, uh, Gorby 2, Vodka Gorby 2, and Ketchup Gorby 2, and he is very successful, and we switch with him our, uh, our t-shirt. It is San Diego, sister town is Vladivostok. Uh, it was a Bon Voyage ceremony in uh, San Diego. It's myself in all Russian costume. From this point, we left uh, USA uh, for Mexico. It's first shot in uh, Mexico. Many people ask if uh, we have trouble with languages. No, because I know 52 languages. I know how to say by 52 languages, por favor, una cerveza mas. Please, one bit more. And later we met many good fishermen and they give us uh, lobster, very good. Uh, uh, and uh, this is Cabo San Lucas, last point of Peninsula, California, one of the wonder around the world. Very clean water, excellent fishing. You see uh, 70, 80 feet uh, bottom. And we've been on this blue water and suddenly came to speak with our cat, killer away, you see. And I just uh, had camera at that time in my head, uh, hands and I uh, took this uh, picture of killer away. It is Puerto Vallarta, one of the most nice uh, towns in uh, Mexico. Uh, lots of the different monuments, uh, very colorful sculptures. And lots of the iguanas. Uh, Mexicans eat them, I never test, but they said it's good meat. And uh, many films been made uh, uh, in uh, that place. Uh, especially at Night of Iguana with Elizabeth Taylor and uh, another. And another, this is uh, from a film Predator with Arnold Schwarzenegger. When Hollywood made that movie inside the uh, tropical jungles in Mexico, they explore this uh, helicopter and they just leave uh, that helicopter as a piece of scrap inside the uh, tropical jungle. But clever Mexicans made a good road, restaurant, many uh, stores around, and they show for stupid tourists their own piece of scrap and make a huge money. <laughs> We've been already in three fields, Russian, American, and Mexican. And this is a very famous uh, movie star, it's myself, uh, on my boat. And they film us for soap opera, 120 films. And they show us half a year. But what's happened? They asked me to take off cross, no cross in, in film. They put horns on my sculpture, because they made it as a uh, pirate ship, and they changed the name of my boat for Satan. And when they paid us a little bit, few hundred dollars after uh, that, they laughed. They told us, no any Mexican guy for million dollars will change the name of his boat for Satan, because it's very bad luck. And it was 100% truth with my expedition. I had before another boat, sister ship uh, with my uh, ship. And this guy, Sergei, he been with me eight months. Each day I been preparing food for him, for us, we eat together, he's a wonderful guy, and I made him as a captain of another boat. But Sergei once told me, I need to go home because I have two kids, four and six years old, and I have a nice young wife, I will lose them if I will not return. He returned home, fly home to the Vladivostok with a few hundred dollars. And Russian mafia, now terrible time in Russia, they killed him for that few hundred dollars. No more Sergei. And uh, was no crew enough to serve that boat, engine stop, and I tow my boat on line, tow line, and came, Harry came, killed me. I've been in open ocean, but we just left Acapulco. In Acapulco, by that Kelvin, been some 154 sailing boats. All Mexican sailing fleet been on board. I've been in ocean, and tow line of my second boat been broken, and 
and I could not save it. I tried, I almost lost my life. But that boat moved to the beach and been destroyed. It's what about people tell, oh, so wonderful voyage you have. No, it's very difficult and it's very dangerous every day. And I've been injured, I could not move uh, for one week and uh, another guy, and he could not stay near the boat. And when we arrived, Mexicans steal everything from boat. It's about Mexican hospitality. Uh, it is a Mexico City, many nice, uh, many nice uh, sculpture, Indian dance inside the Mexico City. It is a uh, skyscraper in Mexico City. This angel been destroyed by a huge earthquake, but uh, Mexican rebuilt it uh, uh, just brand new. This sculpture is 3,000 years old, very old uh, culture of Maya and Aztecs. Uh, it is pyramids, uh, moon and sun near the Mexico City, huge pyramid, it's Irene and it's myself. We've been on that pyramid and it's a huge impression to leave that pyramid. The most beautiful bay on the west coast uh, from Aleutian Islands to the Panama, it's Acapulco. The most wonderful uh, view from a uh, very uh, beach up to the very, very high, you everywhere see uh, lots of the uh, houses. Um, this guy, Arturo from uh, Acapulco, he had a very, very dangerous job. You see, this is this 150 feet at all. And it is not vertical, as you see. If you will just jump, you, if you jump, you need to fly as a bird. If you will just jump, you will be on these rocks. And many divers die on these rocks. And Arturo and another guy, three times a day, just around $15 they made each time. They jump in, they jump in uh, uh, here, because in, in Mexico, uh, many, many people have no job. It is Guatemala. They have no so much uh, uh, cargo, uh, uh, car as you uh, here, and you see how they uh, have their stuff. Uh, many uh, exotic uh, fruit and vegetables in Latin, in Latin countries. When you go to the market, it's just wonderful what you can see. But if you will eat them, you will not wash with soap. You will be very, very sick because it's uh, not so clean uh, situation. Uh, in Latin countries, everywhere you can see uh, people, no job, and uh, they uh, asking for uh, money or if uh, they rob, uh, can rob somebody, they will steal everything, they will kill you, uh, and uh, everywhere you see the police. On each corner in Latin countries, especially in Mexico, you see people with some plate and asking, por favor, senor, un dollar, I have hungry kids, and something like that. But these people are very talented. Uh, just from palm leaves, you can see they can make just in a few minutes plate for you, vase, uh, uh, and anything what you just like. It is Guatemala. Guatemala also has lots of the different uh, uh, nice uh, pyramids. We've been in Hurricane Fernanda in Salvador, Port Acajutla. When we arrived, uh, they arrested us because they want from us for one night $540 fee. I said no. They arrested us. They keep us 10 days, wanted that money, but I said no. And when we been on buoy, came Hurricane Kelvin. Uh, sorry, Fernanda. 140 miles per hour and huge lightning. Big boat, I took picture uh, at, the de at that night. Huge boat, you see just lights. Big uh, strike uh, by uh, huge lightning and burn fire, uh, uh, but that boat uh, saved uh, our from that lightning. But very interesting lightning, not just one and straight as here. You see, from one point can go sometimes 16 branches around the uh, uh, major uh, lightning. It's, it's a very, very, very unusual tropics lightning. It is Honduras. Capital of the uh, uh, 
Tegucigalpa, the capital of the Honduras. And it's very clean, very nice uh, town, uh, country, very friendly people because long time they've been under the British uh, power and they much more, uh, have much more culture than in, in other countries, Latin countries. We've been in Nicaragua, very friendly people. And once, these fishermen, they cut this rib or whale. Can you imagine how big was a live uh, whale if just this one small piece, one rib, was 18 feet long? Probably much more long uh, than 100 feet was a live uh, whale. We've been in Costa Rica, and this is, as you see, piñata. And it's uh, lots of the candy inside, and they break it, and lots of the candy follow around, and kids pick up. Uh, many people ask me what I will do after this expedition. I took this picture of lazy monkey inside the uh, Costa Rica jungle. Uh, he just living always this uh, position, his body always down, and he by uh, arm taking one leaf for half a hour, taking leave, slowly put in mouth, and eat very slowly. After six years of so small boat with the same woman, I like to have this style of life. <laughs> and in uh, Costa Rica, we made, we've been in uh, marvelous places. We uh, made many uh, different pictures with uh, uh, this pink flamingo, or this uh, pink, uh, mm, uh, pink uh, uh, crane, uh, mostly birds uh, prefer to sit on, uh, on top of my cross. These two birds uh, sit in Costa Rica on my cross and illegally cross border with Spain. But, uh, I don't know why, but these pelicans prefer to sit on my big tail. It is volcano uh, Poas in Costa Rica, the same huge, but as you see, no snow around. It's Irene. And uh, the best coffee around the world from Colombia and Costa Rica, because if coffee growing on hills of the volcanoes, uh, lava rich of the vitamins and minerals give that very special smell for coffee. I took this picture in uh, Costa Rica. This is uh, Panama City in Republic Panama. Uh, before it was huge town, very strong, but in 16th century came uh, uh, Francis Morgan, uh, famous pirate, he burned everything, uh, uh, stole all gold, but still this time, this, uh, all that uh, uh, rocks, uh, walls, still this time in, in Panama. It is modern Panama City. Uh, many banks, 122 banks in small uh, town. Uh, it's safe inside, but if you walk a little bit or, uh, on shelter, you will be in jeopardy. Once I walked by myself maybe half a mile from downtown. I've been surrounded by gang, and uh, they took all my money. They fight with me. Uh, I've uh, been with fight with them also, and I've been already on ground. And uh, somebody started to shoot. I will, all my body was in blood, and somebody stopped to shoot, and I saw that they just finished with myself. I turned head, but it was policeman. He came and stopped shoot, and again a little bit moved, and that man, I don't know his name, but he saved my life. It's always very dangerous in, in Latin countries. It is Panama Canal, this is Panama Canal, and this is where you sit in North America, this is South America, where uh, I took picture. And this is bridge of, over the Panama Canal. Panama Canal been built almost 100 years ago. 55,000 people there during the construction, but still this time, this amazing canal, we are perfect, even uh, super modern uh, boats uh, uh, passing Panama Canal. And you see now, it is tail of my boat. I am passing Panama Canal. We are now inside, and it's uh, water now raising up to this level, you see. And this big Chinese ship go inside, and four cars tow the uh, hill. But big ship making lots of the current inside the Panama Canal. 
many wooden small craft already sunk inside the Panama Canal. To, to be inside the Panama Canal, it is very, very, very dangerous. I took this picture from top of my boat, but you see how water jumping inside the Panama Canal. It's very, very dangerous and very, very, very difficult. But after three, three years on Pacific uh, side, uh, we uh, crossed Pacific and now first shot to the uh, Atlantic Ocean. When we've been on our way uh, over the Caribbean Sea and Mexican Gulf, we had no any trouble with food. Food jumped on our boat every night. We go with lights and it attracts flying fish. Every night, 10, 15 fishes up to the one foot long jumping on our boat, and you see many of them, but mostly like them, my cat, you see his tongue, he swallowed already a few of them, and he's, he's happy. We've been in Colombia, San Andreas Islands. It's our favorite place on all our way. It is Colombia, but it's islands, it's very easy to uh, quit with crime and no crime. Very friendly people. Everything very cheap, very clean, excellent fishing, diving. If you will sometimes would like to make a, a trip for vacation, you will not find probably the best place. And uh, on the uh, San Andreas Island, we walk around. I need to picture with myself many unusual. Uh, uh, and this is. Uh, Miss Texas, after she became, when I met her in Texas, uh, she became Miss USA and after Miss Universe, the prettiest lady around the world. Uh, when we've been in Houston, uh, near the NASA, came to us uh, Mr. Sergei Krikalo, he is Russian astronaut. He is very famous in Russia. He twice fly on Russian spaceships and once was uh, something wrong and uh, another uh, spaceship couldn't take him down from orbit and he been in space half year more than necessary. Uh, but uh, he is first Russian who fly on uh, American uh, space shuttle. And he came to us and uh, they play with my cat Kuzia, his daughter Lena, and they did go around the my bow and uh, Sergei told me, oh Michael, uh, your boat much uh, less, uh, much smaller than shuttle. I said, of course. Six years on so small boat is the same boat. <laughs> when we've been in Titusville, uh, uh, was the uh, start of another space shuttle very early in the morning, 6.30. And it, as you see, how it was a colorful uh, day. When I work in tropics uh, with uh, uh, my sails and some, something happened with my pants, shorts, and I read a uh, clever uh, woman, she, she took a hidden camera and, and made this picture. And probably I will use it in my book, and I have two titles already. Extra ventilation in tropical heat, or maybe I will use another. Russian expedition have no sponsors. <laughs> Uh, this uh, guys always like to say hello for Kuzia and invite uh, him to jump to them, but he said no. But anyway, I caught one uh, in South Carolina uh, on my hook. Uh, many times, maybe around uh, 15, 20 times near the us been uh, uh, tornado and water sprout, and a uh, few times they destroyed boats near the us, but we was lucky. We already been in five hurricanes, and once in Alabama uh, two summers ago was a hurricane Opal, and we been 30 miles from I, 130 miles wind with wind on our boat, and you see. Uh, this pier been here, this boat been here, everything destroyed, this uh, uh, condos also destroyed, so huge uh, hurricane, but we just lucky. 
Uh, it is famous uh, male fisher and he put uh, around my neck this golden chain, 12 feet long, and it is on my arm piece of gold. Uh, everything together this gold half of a million. And Mel Fisher, he is a king of Republic corn in Florida Keys. Uh, he uh, found from uh, bottom of sea on half of billion dollars uh, gold from Spanish galleons and uh, Zankin boats. And he just showed me this gold and he took unfortunately everything back. You see, this piece of gold on my uh, arm, I took just by, by camera, it's $250,000. Uh, we have, uh, we are, have many professions and we are uh, with elite architects and we create a project for um, um, American astronaut on moon. And this is huge, huge, it's around 500 feet long. This is a uh, globe of moon and this is named R. Armstrong Anton. It's another project, uh, the same, uh, uh, the same uh, sort, but uh, much cheaper. Uh, and you see uh, the same moon and name Armstrong on, on top. This is a people trees. It's a symbol uh, of our life. Uh, we are humans. One piece with land where we uh, sit in with air, with water, if we will pollute it, if we will cut these trees, we will uh, die all together. And it's another piece of water, my wife, we put uh, something on uh, this table, if you would like to see, you're welcome, and if uh, somebody would like uh, to buy, uh, you're welcome. And this is uh, Russian uh, winter, or we tell it uh, summer in St. Louis. Uh, this is symbolic picture I took in Seattle. This uh, guys, a uh, very small, two and a half, three years old, they came to our boat, uh, and they so small that teachers are afraid to lose them, and they tied up their arms by one rope, and they have different kind of skin: white, uh, yellow, black. This is picture is sim symbol of our earth. We are on small planet. We tied up by one row. In this small planet, we have no room for hot or even cold war. Forever, we must be in peace and friendship. Uh, we are the most, for example, biggest nation around the world, the USA and Russia, with the same people. Just different language. And just sometimes misunderstanding between the government. But if you go to the Russia, you will see the most friendly people what you can imagine. The same here, we met so many uh, good uh, people, so many good friends. We no, have no any enemies behind us. We just have only friends. And we are lucky that we found uh, friends today in this uh, uh, town. We have many friends already. And my small boat, you see ahead of my boat, my boat is a small wooden bridge between many, many nations, between many people. Behind us, 12 countries, and we will stay here up to the uh, middle, maybe of the April, I don't know, we need to replace our fi fixed uh, sculpture. And after we will go to the Canada, and next uh, summer, we will try to cross uh, North Atlantic and first port in Russia, what we hope to be, it is uh, St. Petersburg. Thank you very much for your attention.
just across uh, here it is in Washburn uh, shipyard around on beach you, you will see that uh, very easy at all. It's needed to be to, to, to. Um, He says Port Ross was um, uh, a settlement by the Russians in what uh, century and what, what part of the United States? It is 70 miles uh, to the north from San Francisco and uh, uh, it was uh, built by Russian uh, traders who came here and they uh, met Spanish first time in, in uh, San Francisco. And uh, they built this, uh, sometimes was 20, 200, 300 people. And still this time that Fort Ross near the San Francisco, you can go anytime to see. Okay, if no questions, thank you so much. All the best to you.